Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you irons! Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the West Ham Massive, and thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment on, and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and make sure you hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. All these things are free to do, ladies and gentlemen. They take you a couple of seconds of your time. They help grow the channel, and we don't get your bank details. It won't cost you anything. It's completely, completely free we thank you very much indeed for your support okay few little things want to discuss with you and again i'm really keen to get your comments in the section below that's what it's there for and all opinions are welcome so there's two players that i want to discuss one's a potential departure one's a potential signing i'll start with the departure so during pre-season andy irving has been a bit developed something of a cult hero status despite the fact he's been on the books at West Ham United for the best part of a year there or thereabouts yet he's not actually played a competitive game for the club we bought him from Austria Klagenfurt approximately a year ago loaned him straight back out to them he cost us around about one and a half million pounds so it was a pretty reasonable investment as far as a Premier League midfield is concerned he, he was back at, on loan at Austria Klagenfurt and he actually finished the season really well. In fact, in one of the games towards the latter part of the season, he scored a hat-trick from midfield and he came back to the club. Obviously, there's a lot of competition for places, even more now that we've obviously signed people like Guido Rodriguez, etc., etc. So I understand that it may actually be that his pathway is, uh, there's, there's a lot of obstacles he's got to negotiate. However, he's come in in pre-season, scored a fantastic goal at Dagenham and Redbridge. Okay, we have to put an asterisk and say it's, it is a non-league team, but he's still, you know, the goal was, was great execution, fantastic technique. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look on YouTube. I'm sure you can see what I'm talking about. And it seems also from a lot of the footage that the club has put out, he's really getting involved in getting to know his, his teammates, who he basically hasn't got to know over the last year because he's been in a different country. And he seems to have really sort of taken to the club sort of, you know, on board and, and he really seems to have embraced everything around him. So this is actually quite a sort of a disappointing story in, in a lot of respects for that reason. And the story is, and I'll just see if I can share it with you guys so that you know that this is this is not me making stuff up. This is me finding stuff out there. Um, there's actually two sources that I found. So this is from the Edinburgh Evening News. And as you can see the headline there, ladies and gentlemen, it says Andy Irving is a transfer target for top European clubs, West Ham to decide on the former Hearts player's future. If you deep dive into it, what you'll find is that there are actually two clubs that are named directly. One of them are the current Europa League winners, Atalanta, who obviously have a certain Gianluca Scamacca in their ranks. The other is the Spanish side, Espanyol, who are the cross-city neighbours of Barcelona. It also adds in this article that there is added interest from British clubs as well, and also from the German Bundesliga. And it also says that we're yet to make a final decision on whether to keep Andy Irving or loan him out. There is actually another article that illustrates this same point. So I do, when you see multiple articles from different sources, you start to think that maybe there's a little bit more validity. So this one here is West Ham's own, which again, 
says that West Ham United ace set for debut versus Aston Villa, probably from the bench in fairness if he is going to make his debut, but he is wanted by Atalanta. And this article claims that an approach has already been made. And it also quotes the Edinburgh Evening News article that I've just brought you. So it's piggybacked off of that. Um, it also goes on to say, mention Espanyol in, in the article, same as the previous one. Now, for me, I think it is quite quite disappointing in some respects because obviously he's come in, he's had a good preseason. It appears the manager likes him. It appears that he is he's glad to be at the club. That's always a good thing. Um, but I do sort of understand that we probably need to get some money in. We need to get sort of the coffers filled up again. We've done a lot of expenditure in this transfer window. And if we've genuinely got a player who is attracting interest from clubs in Britain, as was quoted in that article, clubs in the German Bundesliga, and two clubs it names directly in the Europa League champions, Atalanta and also Espanyol in La Liga, then it may well be that a sacrifice has to be made. And maybe it is Andy, Andy Irving that is that sacrificial lamb, if you will. Um, I, I would be quite sad. Um, I'll be truthful. But at the end of the day, if that's what's got to happen to build the squad into the image of Tim Stiton and J-Lo, then uh, it's one of those, you know, sometimes a sacrifice has to be made. But let me know your thoughts. Comment sections below. Andy Irving attracting interest from the Europa League holders, Atalanta. What do you think? Um, Espanyol, as I say, as well, is another club mentioned. But the, the interesting one is that this is the, he's actually attracting interest from the Europa League holders, Atalanta. So not a mug team, it's fair to say. Um, but we'll wait and see how this unfolds. Now, the next article I'm going to bring you. And again, I'm just going to show the the actual article on screen, if I may. So just a few little buttons here I need to press, ladies and gentlemen. So this article here, and this is from Sport Witness, Global Football Intelligence. And it has the headline here, West Ham going up against Aston Villa to sign midfielder. 14 million euro offer could trigger sale. Now, it goes on to say that we have joined in a race to sign Besiktas attacking midfielder. Now, I could mangle this guy's surname quite drastically, um, but his name, according to how I'm reading it, is Ernest Mucci. Now, Ernest Mucci, as I say, is on the books at um, Besiktas in the Turkish League. He went there earlier this year in February and he signed a, ten, a three and a half year contract for a fee of 10 million euros. He came from Legia Warsaw and they have a 10% sell-on clause. So any, any money that's handed over 10% of it is going to go to them, according to this article that I'm reading here. Now, currently he has made 13 appearances in the Turkish Super League and he's made 17 appearances in all competitions with four goals being scored. He's uh, an attacking midfielder come forwards, Albanian international, 12 international caps with three international goals as well. So um, interesting uh, little little story there. I've, I've never heard of this guy. I'll be brutally honest with you. So I don't know too much about him other than what I've genned up. As I say, I know that he's He's Albanian. I know that he's at Besiktas. He went to them from Legia Warsaw. He came through the ranks in his homeland of Albania. He came through his home club of Tirana. And as I say, 10 million euro signing from Legia Warsaw to Besiktas. And it appears that they're now looking to make a profit on him. Quick turnaround, as I say, he only went there in February. And it looks like a 14 million euro bid could be enough. Um, obviously, we've got Carlos Soler that we've had an awful lot of interest in. Um, is this going to be an alternative to him or are we possibly going to look to sign the both of them? It's it's quite an interesting one. This article, Hammers News, also says the same thing. And it mentions, if I just scroll down, just so you can see for your own eyes. There he is, Ernest Mucci. Um, it, according to this article, they've quoted a £12 million pounds. 
So I guess that's that's the exchange rate for you. Um, as it says there, 13 goals, two assist, assists, and that is in 51 games split between Besiktas and Legia Warsaw. And the Turkish team, and he's very rated highly in Turkey. So what do you think? So and Andy Irving, obviously, as I said earlier, could be out the door, maybe a necess- necessary sacrifice to balance the books. But we're also looking at bringing in possibly this Albanian international from the Turkish Super League side, Besiktas, Ernest Mucci, 23-year-old international who only went there in February. And now it looks like they're looking to try and make a, a very quick and tidy profit on him. But it looks like we're in the race. Interestingly enough, to sign him alongside the team that we're playing tomorrow, as I recall this, of Aston Villa. So let me know your thoughts. If Do you know anything about this player? Are you are you a, a, someone that studies Turkish Super League? Do you, are you a, maybe got some Albanian heritage? Do you know anything about this player? Anything at all? You've got a comment section below. Ernest Mucci, possibly on the radar of Tim Steinton and J-Lo. That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. And as always, guys, please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. These are free to do. They take seconds. They help grow the channel. And we thank you very much indeed for your support in this particular matter. Um, I'm going to disappear now. Only one thing left to say. Come on, you Irons, and don't forget to keep your support up for the Iron Supporting Food Banks charity. I'll see you next time. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on, you Irons.